Hello and welcome to the Thursday, April 27th, 2017 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Mirai and its variations are still going around and apparently still causing disruptions to ISPs. The latest example is a Californian ISP, Sierra Tel. It apparently had a major outage that did uh, go f- on for days and actually forced them to hand out new modems uh, to their customers. Not really clear which variant of uh, this botnet hit them. Pricker bot was also implicated here, but uh, with all these different bots that are going after weak telnet servers, weak passwords, it's of course hard to tell sometimes which particular bot is causing the damage. This particular ISP did use similar modems as the one that Deutsche Telekom and other ISPs used that had outages last year because of these various botnets. Now, while PrickerBot's name is derived from it pricking device, it often actually doesn't do so. It often just overrides volatile memory, in which case just a simple reboot of the modem or device will fix it. But then again, if it's going to get reinfected in a couple of minutes, that of course may not help much. And more trouble for Samsung Smart TVs. Apparently, Samsung Smart TVs support a feature called Wi-Fi Direct. Wi-Fi Direct is a simple peer-to-peer Wi-Fi network that does not require an access point. And to authenticate initially, the user usually has to use a PIN or NFC or a similar method. But in order to simplify that process, once a device is authenticated, Samsung will whitelist the device and whitelisting is done via the device's MAC address. So the only thing an attacker has to do is to spoof a trusted MAC address and with that the attacker will be able to take over full control of the TV. Samsung does not consider this a security vulnerability according to the discoverer of the vulnerability. So there's probably no patch coming for this. You can just remove existing devices from this whitelist and then stop using this particular feature. In order to exploit this, an attacker, of course, has to be within Wi-Fi range of the TV, but the neighbors or the like uh, certainly would be able to do this. And Adobe published a somewhat out of order update for Cold Fusion. It fixes two vulnerabilities. The first one is an input validation issue that could lead to cross-site scripting. The second one is a deserialization vulnerability in Java that can be used for remote code execution. No exploit has been cited in the wild yet according to Adobe, but Adobe does urge everybody to update expeditiously. And apparently a large number of devices connected to the internet not only expose SNMP, the simple network management protocol, but also don't verify the community string. Not really clear if this is a bug in the SNMP implementation on these devices or a specific configuration choice that people made when they installed them. But according to a blog post that labels this vulnerability string plead, there are thousands of devices like this out there that are configured to respond to any community string for read and even for write requests. So the problem here is less that they're using a weak community string, instead they're responding to any community string. So no matter what community string you send, the device will respond. Pretty interesting vulnerability. The write-up that was published by the individuals who discovered the vulnerability it doesn't really go into too much details. It looks like they did just scan a random device on the internet and did not do controlled lab experiments on their own. One vendor they contacted did state that this was a configuration issue, not an issue with the SNMP implementation on the device. 
And then just quickly, we do see a strong increase in queries for Microsoft SQL Server port 1433. But I can see in our honeypots, it's simple brute forcing of uh, MS SQL, no real new exploit out there if you do have an MS SQL instant connected to the internet with one of these weak passwords it's probably already compromised by any number of bots that were looking for this before today well uh, that's it for today so thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow bye